Hey, so my name is Kai and this is my animation assignment on percentage composition. So, so first of all, let's recall. The elements in the chemical compound are always present in the same proportion by mass. The mass of an element in a compound express as a percentage of the total mass of the compound. Percentage mass equal to mass of element divided by mass of compound times 100. Combining the mass percent of all the elements in a compound gives the percentage composition of the compound. And percentage composition can be calculated from a chemical formula or from mass data. So let's start with the question. In here, we have in one sample of a compound of copper and oxygen, so copper and oxygen, 3.12 grams of the compound contains 2.5 grams of copper, and the remainder, the remainder is oxygen. In another sample, so basically there's two samples, another one up there and this is another sample of a compound of copper and oxygen also copper and oxygen 1.62 gram of the compound contain 1.44 gram of copper and the remainder is oxygen give it a second so the question asks us to calculate the percentage composition of each compound So first, I'm gonna put up this pie chart. So as you can see, the illustration of the pie chart is taken from the mass given to show how compound would look like quantitatively. And uh, copper is the red part, yellow part is the oxygen. And over here, we have our formula that we just go over percentage of element will be equal to mass of element divided by mass of compound and time 100. So as we know that our compound contain both sample contain Copper and oxygen, we have copper, common charge is 2 plus, and oxygen charge in 2 ne uh, negative. So that's why they cancel out and they, we have um, our product compound is um, copper oxide, CuO. Let's divide by 2 half for each compound, uh, for each sample. So for the first sample, let me just write it down, sample one. So for the first sample, we can see that we have 2.5 gram of copper and we don't know the gram of mass of oxygen, but we know the total mass for our copper oxide is 3.12 gram. So the first thing I'm gonna do in this Problem is I'm gonna find out the mass of oxygen. So M of O2. Gonna be M of O2 will be equal to 3.12 minus 2.5. And it will give me 0 0.62 gram. So from now on, I'm just gonna calculate the percentage using the formula. So percentage of Copper will be equal to 2.5 divided by 3.12 times 100. It will be equal to, just plug it in the calculator. I'm gonna get 80.13%. Similarly, for percentage of oxygen, will be equal to 0 0.62. We just get it from up there. 
we're fighting it up there. So 0 0.62 divided by 3.12 times 100 be equal to 19. Point, it's going to be equal to 19.87 as you plug it in the calculator as well. And from here, you can take over your um, answer by adding them together. Excuse me, so 19. And if you get 100%, that then your calculation is right. So let's move on to the second one. Sample 2. So over here, we have copper, 1.44 grams. Take it from up there. And oxygen, we still don't know. But we know that CuO is 1.62 gram also from the question. So this time, I'm not going to calculate the mass of oxygen anymore, but I'm going to do a, a different way. So I'm just going to jump in to calculate the percentage of copper. Percentage of copper will be equal to 1.44. 1.44 divided by 1.62 and times 100, which give me um, percent So from now, we know that all of them have all come a compound is 100%. So percentage of Copper plus percentage of oxygen have to be equal to 100%. With that being said, percentage of oxygen will be equal to 100% minus percentage of copper equal to 100 minus 88.89 and we will get 11.11%. So 11.11%. .11 so that is how you solve percentage composition problem. And as you can see that we have two ways to solve it.
Thank you for listening.